Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the final lesson of this book, which is the grammar book of the first level, le level based on Medina course. And since it's the last lesson, I want to remind you firstly that um, I've created another channel that will be solely dedicated to Arabic language, to the Arabic language, which is Arabic with Madia Abu Bilal. You can find it. Uh, you can find the link for this channel in the description of this lesson. So just go for it and subscribe if you want to learn the Arabic language. The rest of the lessons, which are the lessons of reading, of expression, uh, second level of uh, grammar, all of those lessons, inshallah, will be uploaded on this channel. Because my main channel, which is uh, Madi Abu Bilal, yeah, it's here. No, not, not here. It's, uh, it's my different channel in, in Russian. Spanel, I've got three browsers for three YouTube channels. Yeah, it's my uh, channel, main channel, Madi Abu Bilal, in English. Uh, it will be dedicated to other projects other than Arabic language, like uh, documentaries, uh, some videos about my experience, interviews. That's why I've decided to make another channel that will be solely for Arabic language. So just go for it and subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Let's get started with our with our daily lesson. Not daily, but I'm trying my best to uh, to be consistent in uploading these lessons. And since my uh, semester is about to enter, it's May 2022. Inshallah, in the in the summertime there will be more lessons. I'm sorry that sometimes I can't upload these lessons for weeks. Subhanallah, it's it's not an excuse for me, but I will try to do my best. So yeah, the first the first exercise they are offering us to think about these words, just pronounce them and think about them. And of course, uh, all these three exercises uh, they are designed to help us get used to the thought that majrur that usually takes kasra. If it's al mamnu min al sarf instead of kasra, it takes fatha. In the beginning, it's hard to get used to this fact, and you're gonna have some struggling with this rule, but eventually you will overpower it, inshallah. So, Muhammadun min Muhammadin. That's how it is usually. Uh, Muhammadun is, al is not al mamnu min al sarf min Muhammadin. It proceeds with a preposition, it's majrur, and it takes kasra. Ila Muhammadin, the same. Li Muhammadin, the same. Kitabu Muhammadin, the same. It's not al mamnu min al It takes kasra, it takes tanvin. No problem. Zainabu al mamnu min al never takes tanvin. And when it's majrur, it takes fatha. Min Zainaba. إلى زينبة لي زينبة كتاب زينبة كتاب زينبة instead of كتاب زينبي like كتاب محمد it has كتاب زينبة but I want to give you uh, <laughs> should I should I do it or no or not when Arabs talk or when students talk here in the Islamic University or in Arab countries Usually they tend to put sukun in the end, uh, in the end of the word. So it's uh, rare that you will hear someone saying uh, "min Muhammadin." Min Muhammadin. Everybody usually says "min Muhammad," "ila Muhammad," or "min Zainab," "ila Zainab." They don't pronounce these kasra in the end or fath in the end. But still, this rule is important because if your sentence doesn't end on this word, then therefore you are usually supposed to pronounce the ending of the word. That's why, of course, this rule is important to comprehend, to get used to. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the first exercise. I think it's clear. Muhammad is not al mamnu min al-sarf, therefore it takes kasra, or tanwin and kasra. But Zainab al mamnu min al sarf it doesn't take Tanvin and it doesn't take Kasra. Iqra waktub, read and write. 
هذا الكتاب لمحمد this not الممنوع من الصرف مجرور and it takes takes uh, كسرة مجرور because it proceeds with لا and you, مجرور usually takes كسرة in 95% of the cases لمحمد but زينب is الممنوع من الصرف and that's why even though it's مجرور مجرور because it proceeds with the preposition anything that proceeds with the preposition مجرور no doubt about it because this preposition is called preposition is called harful jar harful jar something that makes the next word majrur so by definition the next word that comes after preposition is majrur no doubt about that whether it is al mamnu' min al-sarf or something something else so muhammad it's majrur and since it's not al mamnu' min al-sarf it takes kasra li muhammad but zainab it's majrur but since it's al mamnu' min al-sarf it doesn't take kasra instead it takes kat fatha هذا الكتاب لمحمد وذلك لزينب ذهب خالد إلى أحمد ذهب أبي إلى مكة وذهب عمي إلى جدة مكة, مكة جدة الممنوع من الصرف That's why it doesn't take فضحة أخت مروان مريضة The sister of مروان is sick Marwan, it's uh, an Arabic, not an Arabic, yeah, it's an Arabic name, proper noun, that has the ending an, that's why it's al mamnu min al-sarf. Aina zawju khadijata? Zawju khadijata? Huwa fi Lunduna. If it's not clear why it, uh, it's al mamnu min al-sarf, just get back to the groups of al mamnu min al-sarf and it... It's going to be clear. Here they are. بيت خالد كبير وبيت أسامة أسامة صغير. أين ذهب أبوك يا ليلى؟ ذهب إلى بغداد. إلى بغداد. في إسطنبول. آه إسطنبول. في إسطنبول إسطنبول مساجد كثيرة إسطنبول is 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 non Arabic proper noun and just like Baghdad that's why it's al mamnu min al sarf في إسطنبول مساجد كثيرة عندي خمسة مفاتيح مفاتيح الكعبة في مكة في هذا الشارع ثلاثة مساجد هذا الطبيب اسمه ويليام الممنوع من الصرف نون رابي بروبر نون ويليام وهو من لندن وذلك اسمه لويسو لويس لويس لويسو وهو من باريس. There are a lot of al mamnu min al sarf on this sentence in this one sentence. I hope they are all clear, clear to you. سيارتي لونها أخضر. My car has the color has the green color. أخضر. It's an adjective on the pattern أفعل. That's why it's al mamnu min al sarf. Adjective on the pattern of Afadu. عندي قلم أحمر. البيت الحرام في مكة. ذهب أحمد إلى محمد. ذهب أحمد محمد إلى أحمد. أأنت من مكة؟ لا أنا من الطائف. أخت فاطمة طالبة 
يقرأ الكلمات الآتية واكتبها مع ضبط أو آخي You're supposed to read all of it with placing the harakat in the end of all the words that came in this exercise Aminatu Min aminata Li ahmada Ahmadu They are all in Mamnu' Amin al-Sarf Uthmanu Min Pakistana Pakistanu Sorry, let's just Let me zoom in I think that's better Li Khadijata Lundunu Ila Baghdada Istinbulu Makkatu Fi Makkata Juddatu Juddatu Masajidu Fi Madarisa Ya'qubu Li Ishaqa Mu'awiyatu Min Mu'awiyata Li Aishata Aishatu Muhammadun Khalidun They are not in Mamnu' Amin Sarf Muhammadun in Khalid Min Abbasin Nu'manu Nu'manu because it's It has the ending and Masculine proper noun with the ending An With the ending an Nu'man Nu'manu Hamidun Uktubi al-a'dada They are asking you to to write all these nouns with a number from 3 to 10. For example, Thalathatu Masajida, Arbaatu Masajida, Khamsatu Masajida, Sittatu Masajida, and up until N, and then you take the next word, Thalathatu Fanajiqa, Arbaatu Fanajiqa, and on and on it goes with all the nouns. If you have the patience to do that, that's beautiful. But if you don't have the patience, at least do it with the three words. Take three random words and do what they ask you to do, to do with three words. Write it down with the numbers from three to ten. And that's it for this lesson, for this book. That was the final lesson, the final, uh, the final page of this book. So I will see you, inshallah, in the next lesson. The next lesson will be al kitab al qiraati which means the book of reading. And I hope I will see you there on this channel. And I ask Allah to help you in uh, in mastering this beautiful language. Wallahi, I've mastered this language over the over the past four years, and it's it is so beautiful. I ask Allah to help you. Uh, reach the same level and even higher I'm not the the epi ep epiphany of uh, of a person who speaks Arabic perfectly or who knows Arabic perfectly I'm trying to do that I'm striving for it and I, I ask Allah to help you in this goal don't give up please don't give up as a Muslim don't give up the award is evading wa jazakum khairan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh